How's it going? I hope you are doing just as good as I'm doing today. Cause I had, I just had fun, honestly. Um, I got this really, really cool opportunity uh, with a with a buddy of a buddy of mine. <laughs> um, never met the guy, but apparent, I'm in Pensacola Beach, Florida, right now, and you know, there's like no gyms out here. Apparently, the guy just had an Olympic spot, and I was like, that is just wonderful. <laughs> You know, anything to stay consistent. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I've I said it in the last video, uh, but I, I'm at a weird point right now where I'm going to be traveling so much to where I kind of just have to go a little bit heavier than I'm used to for a couple workouts just so that I can stay consistent in my strength before I leave town for like a week during uh, the Christmas times. So I'm going to Colorado. Uh, and you know, I, I don't think that I was as strong as I was today as the last workout I did when I tried to go for a heavy single on my Ollie lifts, but you know, to be fair, I haven't used KG plates since I was in high school and those bitches are heavy. Everybody says it, but man, when you use KG plates, it feels different. <laughs> the bars though were actually so nice. Like the amount of felt like my hand was sticking to it with all the, the Neuralink it had on it. A lot of the ones at the public gyms I go to just end up having really shit Neuralink on the on the bar. That's stuff that you can grab onto. Uh, but anyway, just to get into it, physically, we can put that at a solid 8.25. You know, I think it was just right over that good cusp of like, that was a great workout. It wasn't as there as I wanted to be, maybe. Uh, you know, I couldn't even I clean 315 today, and I fucking destroyed it the other day. But again, when you go to 100% two workouts in a row, your body's not going to be able to keep up. I'm always saying the strength comes with the volume and the consistency through your program, and it's just a matter of accepting that when you're going to go heavy like I'm doing right now, you're not going to perform as perfect as you would like to. And I'm just accepting it. Just going to a heavy single that I can possibly do. Even if not, just trying to throw something good. Uh, something around 90-95%. And then seeing if I can just at least feel out 100%. So that when I go on my vacation, I can just come back with essentially full strength. I'm going to try to keep up with my mobility routines and full bo uh, and like body weight workouts while I'm out of town. But mentally... I'm going to put that at a solid flat nine because I, I, more than the weights, it was really fun to be in the gym by myself for once. I love having my homies around, but public gyms are just so damn crowded and it was fun to scream. You know, I kind of just let it go. I was just yelling, going for it, whatever. Um, but more than that, I, I feel supported today. And, you know, I know you're thinking, are you not supported normally? And, like, no, I'm definitely always supported. I got a really good friend group around me, and I surround myself with people that I really care about because I know that they care about me as well. But the reason I, I'm talking about this, just getting into the topic straight away, I, I think people uh, don't realize how much, that, how much you can grow through the support of others. It, like, it is insane. I'm always talking about my homie moments, my gym homies getting me riled up and feeling good and feeling passionate and wanting to stay consistent. And it's it's just the truth, you know? Like, it's, it's so much more than, like, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, are you depend on people being there to lift heavy? No, of course not. Uh, I'm doing it for me. I'm disciplined enough to keep going no matter what, like I did today. But, man, when you got people in your life that are just egging you on in the best way possible, you know, because there's, there's always going to be people that egg you on when they want to fuck with you or make you feel like shit and it makes you get a little aggressive, whatever. But you can also get egged on in the most positive ways imaginable, you know. People are just like, oh, dude, like not in a, not in a try something that you're not comfortable with way, but just like trying to motivate you to take that step that you're struggling to take yourself. You know, I feel like people are so stuck in their lives occasionally where they're thinking like, oh, like it's a lot of the FOMO stuff too, like fear of the fear of missing out, um, where you just, it is so hard to commit to taking that first step. 
But once you commit to that first step, it's typically a lot easier than you know to commit to the rest of just staying consistent. You know, you, you get in the door, you feel comfortable, you get a good feel for it, you find some passion in what you're doing, and god damn it, it the, the rest just carries you along the way. And along that first step that others may support you through, having that same kind of support and drive from other people when you're just doing something that you didn't expect any love or appreciation from, especially in the workplace. Everybody goes there to obligationally get the things that they need for their basic survival, you know? So nobody ever really thinks about, oh, well, you know, I don't really expect support from this kind of shit, but whatever. And when you get that unexpected support, especially from people that you've never met before, like that most, it's like the most unbiased clean truthful support that you can get it'll just it'll make you fly (laughs) i don't mean to sound cringy with it i'm not trying to be cryptic but man it is so fun to show up be consistent and be able to give yourself enough credit to really know you're putting in that work but then on top of your own individual effort and your own individual passion i bro it you can easily double all that effort and all that passion just by being with people. There's there's always the people that'll tell you that, oh, you should go compete so that you can, you know, go go, go up against people and have people to try to be rivals against. And it's like, they don't say that stuff to get you like trying to find people to compare yourself to or people to try to beat with your own numbers. It's just about being in a situation where you're both driving yourself to the best abilities that you actually have rather than the best abilities that you may think you you have you know that you're always going to temper your own individual uh abilities and expectations because you're human you know when you go in you're not expecting to be at 100 percent ever it just doesn't happen you can always hope to do your best which is what i will always implore you to do but when it comes to really lifting something heavy or just getting to a new level in whatever passions you have in life um having that like just unbridled uh encouragement from other people that you expect literally nothing from that will make you lift at 110 (laughs) percent you know it is it is truly insane what the psychological benefits are when it comes to anything that derives passion in your life you know, I'm always talking about I'm not just getting my mental energy in check or my physical energy in check, but also my mental energy. You know, it's it's just as important. It's you got to have your body. You got to make sure you put your body first and take care of it and make sure that you're not hurting yourself and you're keeping your sh- yourself in tip top shape by staying committed to the program. But the program is just the math. That's that's the bare bones. That's that's the bare minimum that you should be doing for your body, you know. When it comes to the psychological and mental needs in your daily life and your lifts or anything passionate that you have going on, you need those unbridled areas of support that you know if you're having the worst day ever, you can show up. If I'm having the most traumatic shit go on, I got people yelling at me, people calling me disappointments, whatever, but if I go to the gym and I see some homies that day and those homies are amping me up to do better, Oh my lord! It'll feel like the best day of the week. It, it's it's liter- It feels insane, you know. But you can r- literally reroute your brain through a mindset to just get better. And there's always people that are gonna tell you like, "Oh, just try harder." Skill issue, you know. You're just not putting in enough effort. It's not that. Of course, you need to be putting in enough effort to do better. But it's not just the value of the statistics when it comes to your effort it's the want and the drive and the passion that you get from your own commitment and other uh, support in your life that makes you want to put in that 100% effort I'm always spitting out that I'm trying to put in my best I'm always putting in 100% of whatever I've got today but man <laughs> it's like without that kind of support I, I know that it'd be a lot harder to drag it out of my ass and it is it, it it just it it makes you better you know it makes you inspired and it gives you like it's like I'm always saying this I truly believe it 
but being physically active or like physical with a goal uh, to do better in your personal life is easily uh, twice as good for your mental health uh, than taking any pill that may, you know, temporarily medicate uh, whatever depressions and anxieties you're going through. Don't get me wrong. I'm not just saying that to be a dick to people who are on pills and you got to do what you got to do. But I've been there. I've been on pills. I've been in the worst place. I've hit rock bottom a, a good couple times and it's it's horrible and it never gets easier. But what going through it may always stay just as shit, but coming out of it, especially with that outside support we're talking about, it's not just the gym, it's the things, the most traumatic things you go through, th- along with your own individual experience, like with your daily passions, those daily traumas, or you know, however, however rare it may uh, happen to you, when that shit happens, having that support is detrimental for you to be able to just land back on your feet right away. You know, keep going, stay consistent, just keeping that discipline up, regardless of what bullshit life has to throw at you. So, regardless of that, I think I got really, <laughs> that was a big tangent. Uh, I got a lot of energy in me. I, I It's so cool. Like, I, I didn't even, oh, I didn't really get to go into full depth about it. But the reason I, I, I've been wanting to talk about this and, like, go so far off on it was because um, I I'm literally just by knowing a homie in... Orlando that I work out with I mentioned I was gonna be able to work out for a couple days he was like dude I know a gym owner go go to his gym I didn't even meet the guy I just shot the shit with him he seemed great he said I seem great we bonded over our love for this shit and he literally gave me the keys to his private gym (laughs) like holy shit no fear or anything he was just like man enjoy yourself stay passionate and I'm like that is the fucking support that you need to keep your shit together you know I don't care what you're going through. When you have that kind of support that gives you that kind of passion and discipline with whatever that you want to really, truly be better at, oh, man, it it is such a cool thing. So take that with a grain of salt, you know. Everybody goes through their own experiences. I'm biased in my own way because it's just the way that I've gone through life. But, you know, if you can latch latch your mental thinking onto anything that I may have spouted out, that's all I care about, you know, the positivity is everything, and I truly, truly care about it, but man, the support on this channel has actually been insane, I just want to mention it, I don't talk about it a lot, but I started this like two months ago, I think, maybe just over two months, and the amount of support, comments, like, regardless of the views or the subs, like, the amount of people coming back and, like, supporting each other and supporting me, you know, in a way, you, your guys' support even though I don't know you, is keeping me going, you know, it's making me feel twice as passionate as I was before with my own personal support group, so, you know, be proud of yourselves, I guess, you're, you're making me a lot happier, and making me enjoy life a lot more, so, you guys keep doing what you're doing, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, love yourself, you know, do your best, give yourself credit, whatever, whatever you got to do to stay in line, and keep pushing, so, you know, that's kind of all I got. I, I don't know what I'm eating, what I'm going to be eating today, but I'm sure it's going to be something absolutely fucking scrumptious. So that's all that matters, you know? So that's all I got. Take care of yourself. Bye.